guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the arithmetic series. So without further ado, let's do this topic. By the way guys, what is an arithmetic series? Arithmetic series, it is the sum of the terms in a given arithmetic sequence. So, sum ibig sabihin yan, uh, that is the answer if you add the terms of the given sequence. Ngayon, for the calculation of arithmetic series, we have two different formulas na gagamitin natin. We have the S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. This formula can be used if if yung first and last term are given. Nagamitin nyo lang itong formula na itong S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N kapag given yung first and last term. Next, if we have S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A times 2 A sub 1 plus T times N minus 1. Nagamitin to if the last term is not given. So, explain ko lang yung mga different elements ng ating formulas. Yung A sub 1 natin, so definitely that is your first term. Yung A sub N natin, that is the nth term. Yung N natin, that is the number of terms. Yung D, common difference. At yung ating S sub N is the sum of the arithmetic sequence. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you two examples where in gagamitin natin yung different formula na sa una, ito, given yung first term and last term, pangalawa ito, if hindi naman given yung last term. Now, let's have the first problem. Find the sum of the first 20 natural numbers. Alam naman natin ang natural numbers natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Pero dito, ang pinapanap sa atin dito ay yung sum ng first 20 natural numbers. Isipin nyo, na yung first 20 natural numbers, that is the given sequence. Ngayon, anong gagamitin natin formula? So, alam niyo naman natin, di ba? Uh, first 20. So, we start with 1. Tapos, 20 natural numbers. Ibig sabihin, ang dulo nito ay 20. So, ngayon, given yung first term at yung last term natin. That's why, we will be using the formula S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus a sub n. Again, bakit ito yung formula natin? Because the first and last term are given. Okay, let's continue. Yung ating S sub n is unknown. Yung ating n is equal to 20 because first 20 natural numbers. Yung A sub 1 natin is definitely equal to 1. A sub n, yung last term natin which is 20. So given this formula at yung mga values natin, let's plug it in. So we have S of N is equal to 20 over 2 times your first term, which is 21, plus, ah, sorry, your first term, which is 1, plus 20. Okay? So we will simplify this fraction. You're adding S of N is equal to 10 times 1 plus 20, that is 21. So kung mapansin nyo, napakadali lang itong formula na ito. The sum of the first 20 natural numbers is equal to 210. This is the answer for this problem. So guys, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you an example wherein given your first term, pero wala naman yung last term. So, stay tuned. Now let's have this second example. Sabi dito, find the sum of the first 16 terms of the arithmetic sequence. Again, find the sum of the first 16 terms of the arithmetic sequence 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, and so on. So, kung ano notice nyo, hindi given yung last term ng ating sequence. Okay? Hindi given yung last term. So, gagamitin natin yung formula ngayon ay yung formula natin S sub N is equal to N over 2 times 2a sub 1 
plus d times n minus 1. Okay, so again, before nyo gamitin the formula nito, you need to figure out what are the values of these variables. Yung ating s sub n is unknown. The value of n, syempre, uh, 16 terms ang pinapanap, so we will use 16 as n. Again, since 16 yung terms na pinapanap sa atin, 16 din to. At yung ating a sub 1, that is your first term, which is 8. Tapos yung ating common difference, so 11 minus 8, that is 3. Ngayon, since we're ready, i-plug in natin yung different values sa formula natin. S sub n is equal to 16 over 2. Because your n is equal to 16 times your a sub 1, which is 8. So that is 2 times 8. Next, plus your common difference, which is 3, times n, 16 ulit, minus 1. And you need to simplify the parentheses first. We have s sub n is equal to 16 divided by 2, that is 8. Solve na natin yan. Dito naman, um, this is 2 times 8. This will give you 16. Plus 3 times ito ng sa loob ay magiging 15. So 3 times 16 tayo dito. And then ito. So pinapakita ko sa inyo step by step process. So we have s sub n is equal to 8 times 16 plus 3 times 15 will give you 45. And then simplify natin itong sa loob. s sub n is equal to 8 times 16, ah sorry, uh, 16 plus 45, uh, that will give us the answer of 61. Ngayon, to finally find the uh, the sum of the 16 terms of the given sequence, we need to multiply 8 and 61. Yung 8 times 61 na natin, kasi ang 6 times, uh, 8 times 60 ay 480. And then, 8 times 1, that is 8. So, sagot natin dito, your S sub N is equal to 488. Ito yung sum ng first 16 terms ng sequence na 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Check natin ha. 61 times 8. Again, 8 times 1, that is 8. 8 times 6, that is 48. So, sagot natin ay 488. So, ayun na guys. I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin on how to find the arithmetic series gamit yung dalawang formula natin. Una, Yung first formula natin, we can use that if given yung first and last term. Yung pangalawang formula natin, given yung first term, pero hindi nga lang given yung last term. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Goodbye!